Neuqua Valley and Pool B, their first matchup, not the easiest. 2011 state champion Sandberg on the other side. Cats don't look intimidated though, early going. Alex Coyne sets for Griffin Shields in the middle, knotted up at one. This one would stay close. Neuqua forced a bump for the Eagles. Paul Chumura flying into your picture and depositing a laser. They would take the first 25-22. Now to the second, Ian Zalewski serves after a dig. Jeremy Royko getting the go-ahead. He puts one off an eagle. Sandberg went on a run up 17-13. That's when the Nequa D gets going. Michael Scannell thinks he has an opening. James Martin and Coyne say think again. Now 24-23 going for middle hitter Kyle Van Steedham. Royko tall as a tower and doing a job. 26-24 Cats to a third. This one close to an equal a small lead. Sandberg trying to go to the middle again. Again, an equal blocker there. Shields this time, 2016 Cats. But there's a reason the Eagles keep going there because when John Holdel can swing, he can score 14 kills for him. Nequa would lead 24-21. But they couldn't close. 27-26 outside this time. Chamura's hit too hot. We're tied at 27. 30-29 Sandberg. Now Chamura serves Callahan Rafferty off the block and out. 30 aside. Tied at 32 now, Pat Dudek serving, play at the net on both sides, ball falls on the Wildcats, 33-32 Sandberg. Next point, they would finally get the two-point cushion they needed, Rafferty tries to go down the line just wide, Eagles in a fun one. Mendoza took us into the huddle, he said, look, we, we know we can do this, we've done this before, so uh, we just buckled down, we got a couple of key blocks and uh, a couple of key digs in that second game that really uh, propelled us into the third set. Obviously, Nick was very underrated for sure. I think they're a super talented team, just like any other pool in this big tournament. You know, you're going to have talent all the way through gold, silver, bronze. It doesn't really matter. So uh, I'm hoping we take care of our pool play and end up competing against uh, some of the best teams in the state, in my opinion. It's bad that we lost, but it, it is a huge confidence booster knowing that Sandberg is as good as a team as they are. We can play toe to toes with those teams. We know uh, kind of this win lets us know that we have the determination and the willpower to kind of push us through. And hopefully uh, if we can continue that, we can take that further into playoffs.